Hey, it's Savvy Nick, and today we'll go through the basics of using grep. Grep is a useful tool on Linux and Unix-based systems that helps you search for patterns and files that contain text. Let's jump right in, and using a terminal, we'll start using the grep command. If you do Control-Alt-T, that'll automatically bring up a terminal for you. Let's go ahead and maximize this so you can see it better. So what I've done is hidden random files on the Linux system with Savvy Nick inside of them. And what we'll do is find these using grep. We'll go ahead and start in the home directory. So home Savvy Nick. Grep comes with the system, so you won't have to worry about getting it. And if you do grep dash dash v, that'll give us the version of grep that we currently have. I don't know what you'd really use this for, but there you go, you know it now. So let's do our first find of Savvy Nick. What we'll do is type in grep savvy nick star and what you'll see here is a couple errors well it doesn't say error but it says that grep desktop is a directory it's just warning you and what it's warning you about is that uh, you didn't search through directories you only searched in the current location that you're in so the current directory and it did find something in users home so this is an actual file so if we went ahead and search through users home we're going to find Savvy Nick so I'm just going to do that real quick and there you go Savvy Nick shows up in here let's get out of here and then try using another grep command so let's say that we want to search through other directories and not just the one that we're currently in we could do grep and if we do a dash r stands for recursive Savvy Nick then we do a star meaning search all files boom we find a few more files. So in documents new file.txt, there was savvy nick. And then as far as the public public file.sh, a script perhaps, savvy nick was also found. And in the user's home, which we saw earlier, user's home, savvy nick was found. And it didn't complain about directories this time. Let's move on to another one, which is using non-case sensitive. So if we type grep dash r dash i and then type in savvy, well let's make it all lowercase because now we're telling it we don't care about case sensitivity. So we don't actually have to capitalize the s and the n in order to find what we're looking for. And again a star meaning search in every file. Boom. We get the same result as before. And that's because we're ignoring the case sensitivity. So let's say we only want to look for case sensitivity in the current location that we're in. We do grep dash i savvy nick and the star symbol for our asterisk for telling us to, oh, to look in every file. What we should see in this one is that we only have one place. And we do. And it gave us some warnings again saying that there's directories it's not searching in. Now we're going to look into a specific file. So let's use grep again. Grep, and let's ignore case sensitivity, so dash i. And then what we'll do this time is we're going to add a space in savvy and space nick. So we'll have to put quotation marks so it recognizes a space. So capital S A V D Y space nick. And then our specific file. So it's an example of that desktop. Press enter and boom, it found Savvy Space Nick inside of examples.desktop. Notice it doesn't tell you what file it found it in because you specified an exact location. What we can also do is not ignore the case sensitivity. And then we'll just go ahead and do Savvy Nick in all files. So all desktop files that will also give us the same result but now you're not really looking for a specific file you're looking for all files with the extension of desktop finally we'll do one more that I think is kind of important if we do grep and we'll again ignore case sensitivity with dash i and we'll do a recursive search so search in every directory for savvy nick I'm going to put quotes around it just makes things easier 
No. What I'll do instead is I'm going to look in all files with the asterisk key, and then I'm going to output that into output dot text. What this is going to do is going to generate a new output dot text file with the results. And you can see here, if we open up the output text file, I'm going to go ahead and use Vim Editor. You can see you have the three results of Savvy Nick. Well, this was a quick tutorial on how to use grep on a Unix Linux based system, and I hope you found it helpful for a quick start guide. If you would like to learn more about grep, I went ahead and put a link to the manual page for grep in the description below. Thanks for watching, and please like, subscribe, and make sure to comment.